This program is sponsored by Ally. Hello and welcome to The Answered Patient. I'm Jane Hansen. Take a look around. Obesity is a serious problem in this country. Roughly 60 million Americans currently suffer from it. That's quite a number. On this episode of The Answered Patient, you'll learn how doctors define obesity. We'll also tell you what's putting us at risk. Finally, we'll sort through the problems associated with this medical condition and what you can do to treat it. Generally speaking, obesity is a condition of severe excess body fat that puts your health in danger. While not traditionally considered a disease, more and more health experts are now calling it just that. If you're overweight, your cholesterol's higher. If you're overweight, your blood pressure's higher. If you're overweight, you're more likely to be diabetic. Ultimately, it will increase your health risk and reduce your longevity. So for all of those reasons, we consider it a disease. Right now, one-third of U.S. adults are obese. Another one-third are overweight and at risk of becoming obese. And don't think our kids aren't affected. Approximately nine million American children are now considered obese. Doctors that follow long-term disease trends are starting to feel that this present generation of children will be the first generation in American history to not live as long as their parents. So what is your favorite food? Pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza. I like the numbers it. don't lie. We have an epidemic favorite? on our hands. The term obese has a specific meaning in the medical world. In fact, obese and overweight mean two different things, and both revolve around a number called the body mass index, or BMI. BMI is the most common tool in determining obesity. It's a formula that estimates body fat by comparing your relative weight to your height. It's calculated by dividing your weight in pounds by your height in inches squared. That value is then multiplied by 703. There are four ranges of BMI for adults. Below 18.5 is considered underweight. 18.5 to 24.9 is considered normal or healthy. 25.0 to 29.9 is considered overweight. And 30 and above is considered obese. Experts agree, BMI is a useful tool, but it's not perfect. BMI from a practical point of view is very useful because in general, if you take 100 people in this country, the higher the BMI, the fatter the individual's gonna be. But there's always exceptions. There's the individual whose BMI is 32. That's an obese classification, yet they're very muscular. Because BMI can't distinguish fat from muscle or bone weight, other methods can be used in diagnosing obesity, such as calipers and the DEXA machine. No history of diabetes, you have been tested for that. Or a routine physical exam. And assessments of your diet, physical activity, and family history are also important. And while obesity does cross gender, age, and economic lines, some people are more at risk than others. The prevalence of obesity is greater in women than men. And we know that is particularly true among minority women. Obesity is triggered by a number of things. One of the biggest, the realities of modern life. We live in a fast food nation. We drive rather than walk. We work long hours when we should be working out. Modern luxuries combined with high calorie diets are a huge source of the obesity problem. But it's not just the environment and our behavior that's packing on the pounds. Obesity also tends to run in families genes and shared family habits can promote excess weight gain. And when that excess weight makes you obese, the health effects can be devastating. Obesity is one of the medical conditions that probably causes more health risk in more organs throughout the body than any other problem that I know of. Obesity is at the center of a number of medical problems. Heart disease and type 2 diabetes are among the most serious. Obesity is a principal risk factor for type 2 diabetes. More than 80% of people with type 2 diabetes are overweight or obese. Let's have you step up here, okay? Obesity also affects the joints. When you're carrying extra weight, it beats up your knees, it beats up your hips, it beats up, you know, the feet. And so these people tend to have more orthopedic issues just because they're carrying more weight around. 
Obesity doesn't just impact the health of adults. The problems that you see in children who are obese are very similar to the problems that you see in adults who are obese. Type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, coronary artery disease, joint problems, body image problems, psychological problems, inflammation problems, you name it. Obesity is treatable and preventable. Your doctor can help you develop a healthy diet and exercise plan. There are also a number of drug and surgical options that might be right for you. You can learn more about this in our chapter, How Do I Control It? If you or someone you love is battling obesity, you're not alone. The Answered Patient is here to provide you with the knowledge you need to take control of this medical problem. In other chapters of this episode, you'll learn more about how obesity is diagnosed, get some science on what it does to your body, and we'll give you useful tips on how you can better control your weight. In our personal stories chapter, you'll meet real doctors and patients who are battling obesity and winning. Finally, if you would like to be kept up to date on new advances in the fight against obesity, you can subscribe to this series on healthanswerstv.com. Thank you for watching.